Hello everyone, and welcome to the Contingency Plan. I'm going to do a quick overview of programming a Baofeng ham radio. I'm not going to get into specifics because it's actually pretty complex uh, as far as the software goes. So I'm just going to hit on some of the high points. So first we're going to show the equipment that we have. So we have <coughs> we have the Baofeng BFF8HP. Uh, it's got the extended battery on it. It's got the whip antenna, 15.6 inches. It has the, this is the programming cable. And the external hand mic. And the chirp software that you'll use to do the um, programming. Now I will put the link here to the uh, Chirp software. Uh, this here is actually an upgrade because I opened it and got an indication that it uh, had an upgrade available. So I'm going ahead and putting the Windows upgrade on here. And as far as how to use Chirp, I'm going to include a link. It's also in the, the playlist I have, the how-to playlist. There is a link in there to a video showing you how to do it specifically. There's import export features. There's a lot of stuff that's already built into it. I'm going to show you how I have my radio currently programmed. There's also websites where you can get all of the repeaters to, uh, based on what area you live in. So when I turn on my radio, I think what I have, I think I have it programmed. I have the uh, NOAA weather service, and then I have four or five. Um, family radio service channels that you don't need a license to use and then I have a bunch of repeaters for the area. Frequency mode. Alright, so I believe channel mode. I go here. One, one, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. He's in the mid eighties. Lows in the low fifties. Tuesday, sunny. Highs in the low 80s. And now the hazardous weather outlook. For today, this afternoon and tonight isolated. So this is the, the NOAA weather service. And then I think I have like four family radio service channels. Two, three, four. And these are the channels you can use if you don't have a ham radio license. Five. Start and I think they have a slighter chance today than they have in the past. And then I have local repeaters for this area. And then you create a uh, clone file that you save on your computer. And then you can take another radio, just like this, and I happen to have another one in the house, hook it up the same way, and basically import your clone file to this to the other radio. And then you have two identical radios with the exact same channels. So I'm going to put a link to all of the components I have here. And you don't need all that. You don't need the extended battery. You don't need the uh, extended antenna. You don't need the hand mic. And you don't, well, you do You do need the cable. But I'll have a, a link to all these. These are all on the Contingency Plan website if you go under uh, Amazon links. Every one of these items is linked on there. I will also have a link to the Chirp website where you can download the free software to program your radio as well as a link to the video that shows you how to use Chirp. It's a little tricky at first. Once you get the hang of it, then it starts to make sense. Um, and it creates uh, a file that you can actually go in and edit with a text editor if you want to get fancy. Uh, I think it came with a lot. And you can rearrange them. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. There's also, and I'm sorry, this is only for the, the Baofeng, this model. It's probably similar with other uh, manufactured models, but I, like I said, it took me long enough to get this one programmed the way I like it. So, uh, I, you, there's YouTube has all kinds of videos on how tos for uh, programming with Chirp using um, different models of radio. So you can uh, search those out, and um, also there's a lot with just 
the there's videos on the radio itself showing you how to customize it as far as language because it defaults to Chinese when you get it so you have to change it to English there's uh, backlight color uh, just all kinds of settings and they're a little tricky so I highly recommend watching a video getting the hang of it and then saving and archiving off those videos so you'll have a reference later in case you ever need if you move and you need to uh, set all new repeaters for the area you're in you're not going to probably remember how you did it it's very uh, it's not very user friendly but it works it works really well once you figure it out so I know that's probably not the most informative video in regards to how to program it but I've got all the information here for um, the hardware the software and a tutorial on how to use chirp uh, which I really don't want to get into right now it gave me a headache when I did it so uh, enjoy. If you have any questions, you can ask. I'll do my best. All right. Take care. God bless.